What's going on guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you guys are doing pretty good too. Now, you might be looking at this and like, Whoa, you're playing Modern Warfare 3? No way. You're playing the best game. Well, I am playing Modern Warfare 3, but this gameplay is about 5 to 6 months old, I want to say. I looked at the timestamp and it's, yeah, it's about 5 months old. So, I'm pretty shitty at this game. I play really defensive. Um, you can say I'm bad. It doesn't really phase me because I'm pretty bad at this game. I don't know what it is. I'm alright. I mean, I'm kind of decent, but definitely not as good as I used to be. I haven't played Xbox Live in like four months. I don't even have Xbox Live, so. And that's what I kind of want to talk about. I want to talk about the new games that are coming out this year, 2012. And how disappointed I am with them. Now don't get me wrong. There's a couple good games. But. I'm really disappointed in the. The developers right now. <clears throat> it's like they're just rehashing the same game over. And don't get me wrong. A lot of people like that kind of stuff. But. They're kind of killing some of the games. And not in a good way. <laughs> when I say killing. I mean in a bad way. So. Let me just say, I've seen E3, I watched it for like 10 minutes. Not very good to me. The top three companies, uh, the Wii, PlayStation, and Xbox, I thought they didn't do a very good job at all. But that's not really the point. I'm just going to read you guys some games that are coming out, give you my opinion on the games. Um, basically, I just want to talk about the... Just talk about the games that are coming out this year and see get your opinion on them I can't think of five games this year that I like I can't even really think of three that I'm going to buy and that's kind of saying something okay um I'm a little biased towards single-player games I don't really play them I don't really see the whole the, the, not the market but for 60 bucks you're gonna play a game once maybe twice for single player maybe you know beat it over again but I don't know I'm a big guy in the multiplayer, I love multiplayer games, MMOs, and that's where I feel like I get the most money out of, like a Call of Duty or a Halo kind of game. Okay, I got the list here from IGN. Halo 4 comes out November 6, 2012. Uh, I'm kind of looking forward to the game, kind of. It's like Halo Reach with a twist. It doesn't look very good, but since I'm a big Halo fan, I might pick it up just to try it. But eh, I'm not hyped at all for it. It just it looks really bad. Bioshock, 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 um, never played it, played the demo actually, the first or second one, it was, it was alright, but it's a single player game, not really looking forward to it, Assassin's Creed 3, I always wanted to play an Assassin's Creed game, I always, like, I was gonna buy the second one, but I didn't, I might rent this one, I'm not hyped for it, it looks fun, I love those kind of, RPG kind of games. I think it's an RPG. Where you can just go around. Open world kind of game. Pretty cool. Black Ops 2. November 13th. 2012. So right after Halo comes out. Not looking forward to Call of Duty at all. Um, I played Modern Warfare 3. And Modern Warfare 2. For the first like month or two of the game. And then I just stopped playing it. Like I'm never going to play this game again. Modern Warfare 3. Never. So many problems with it. I don't even know if they fixed it, but there's so many problems with the game. So Black Ops 2 looks like Black Ops 1 with a twist. Kind of like Black Ops plus Modern Warfare 2 combined. I don't know. Uh, I'm probably going to save my money on this one and not buy it. So next game, Borderlands 2. Looks like an awesome kind of, you know, it looks awesome. It kind of looks like Border Borderlands 1. You know, Borderlands 1 had like a million different guns. I felt like Borderlands had too much DLC to it. I mean, I don't, I'm, I'm the kind of guy that's not going to buy the DLC. I think it's too expensive. But I'll definitely pick Borderlands 2 up if... Hey, kitty. If some people pick it up with me. I mean, the game is alright when you're playing by yourself, but you got to play with other people. So maybe I'll pick that one up. Maybe. Not a hype for it, but it looks kind of fun. Uh, what game do we have next? Gears of War. Um, that comes out. Oh, that comes out in 2013. Uh, never played Gears of War before. From what I hear, I think it's the second one or the first one was really good. 
and then it's just started going downhill from there. I don't know. Can't really judge it. I'm not gonna buy it. Let's go. Let's go down. Um, Medal of Honor, Warfighter. Uh, I can't really judge this one either, but from the reviews it got on YouTube, it didn't look very good and didn't play very good either. Crisis 3. <laughs> like, some of these I can't really review. Graphics look amazing, but other than that, I haven't played it. I haven't played Crisis 2. So, maybe I'll play the demo, maybe I'll rent it, but no hate for me around it. Transformers, poopy. The Amazing Spider-Man. Nah, maybe a kid's game. Maybe kids will buy it. Tomb Raider. Yeah, Hitman. I know there's a lot of Hitman people out there. But I don't really play... I've never really played Hitman. It looks, it looks alright for a single player game. But not my kind of style. Um, Lego Batman. Lego... I heard Lego games are actually really good. But I'm not gonna... I don't play Lego games. But they, they look alright. South Park. If you're a big South Park fan, I wouldn't waste your money on the game. I would go rent it or something. It definitely looks like a game I would just mess around with, but for 60 bucks, eh, it's kind of pushing it for me. Uh, what else we got? We got WWE 13. I used to be a big uh, wrestling fan. I used to watch it all, like, Monday and Thursday, I think it was. I used to buy all the games, but, nah. If you're a wrestling fan, probably pick it up. Fable. Mm, what can I say about Fable that's actually good? Uh, pfft, I don't know. I played the first one. It was alright. Second one was pretty good. Um, I feel like they're killing like killing uh, Fable. They should have just left it at 3. But I think there's been 2. It's just Fable 4, I think, and there's this one coming out. So they're killing, they're killing it in a bad way. Uh, we got Madden. I'm a big sports fan when it comes to games, but the last Madden I played was probably 08, 09. So not really, not really my cup of tea. Let's see what else we got? Uh, a lot of sports games. Counter Strike, Elder Scrolls. I don't know. Uh, let's see. I'm just going through these right now. I think that's about it, really. I can't see any really good games. Tony Hawk, eh. Pass on that. NHL 13. I might actually rent that game. I, I'm a big hockey fan when it comes to the sports games on, like, the Xbox, but... Yeah, it's not worth it for me. Yeah, that looks about it. So, let me get your opinion on it, because... The only game I'm looking forward to is an actual, it's an MMO, and that's, uh, Guild Wars 2. And I'm not hyped for the game, but I'm looking forward to playing it. I played the beta a couple times, thought it was pretty good. It was actually good. But I'll probably pick up, uh, Borderlands, and it's gonna be a toss-up. I'll probably pick up Halo, because I'm a bigger fan of Halo than I am Call of Duty. But... It's a toss-up between those two games, and that's my top three, and I wouldn't even consider those, like, great games. I did see Dog... What's that What's that E3 uh, video game? Dog Watch or something like that? And that looked pretty pretty good, but... Nothing, nothing really too, too good out there right now. So, give me your opinion, guys. This game's wrapping up. I gave you my three, and they're not very good <laughs> in my eyes. But, eh, what can you do? Hope you guys enjoyed, and have a good day. Peace.